Welcome to this session on globalization, market and consumer protection. In this session, we will discuss how globalization has affected markets and the consumers. Globalization has brought about new challenges in consumer protection. And as all of us are consumers, and therefore we need to be protected against defects in goods, deficiency in services, and unfair trade practices. Essentially, this session will deal with this. Now, first let us understand what is consumer protection. The concept of consumer protection revolves around the notion that consumers should first get value for money. All of us are consumers and we shop daily, therefore we need to have get value for money. The second is consumers must be aware of the contents of the items that they purchase. The third more important is they should be guaranteed of the safety of those products which they are buying from the market. And they should also be aware of any policies and practices affecting their finances. And overall, if consumers have some recourse or breaches of these should also be there. So in a nutshell, consumer protection essentially involves getting value for money, being safe, having information. And if there is some problem, there has to be redressal of the, their complaints. So if we look at in the market. So essentially, if we look at the consumer protection focuses on promoting and safeguarding the interest of consumers as regards quality, safety, standards of products and services, regulating markets to prevent unfair market practices, promoting fair competition in the market, empowering consumers to take rational decisions in the market and setting up redressal mechanism and providing the remedy. Now we see that there are a large number of factors that are affecting consumers in the changing economy. The most important being globalization and liberalization. Because of globalization and liberalization, you also find that large number of unfair market practices are prevalent today. It has also resulted in growth of service sector, evolving structure of the retail sector has changed. And moreover, rapid technological change has brought in large number of changes in the market because of the globalization and liberalization. It has also changed the nature of advertising that is there is different today than what the advertising was earlier. So if we look at the impact of globalization, it has aided by information technology, has reduced time and space. Today we live in a global village which has integrated the world market Therefore, by benefiting the consumers in terms of better goods and services. Globalization has changed the way consumers behave in the market. And you will also see that consumers' taste and preferences have changed. As a result of globalization, consumers have today better products, wider consumer choices available, lower prices because of competition that is there, which has also brought in greater efficiency and better services in terms of efficiency. Firms today compete with each other to win consumers. Therefore, the consumer has a win-win situation in the market today. Let us also understand how markets have changed. With globalization and liberalization, the whole business environment has undergone a change. Markets today are much different than what they were in the earlier eras. Today, you have the mall culture that is coming. Markets are diverse and fragmented and e-commerce is spreading, it's expanding and today the consumers feel much more convenient to use e-commerce mechanisms that are there. Markets are flooded with a variety of goods and services. So there is a competition in the market and each company is competing against the other to meet the consumer's demand. Due to expansion in digital technology, payments and credit risk are also rising. Issue of privacy and cyber safety has become an area of concern. Aggressive advertisement is there pushing the consumers to buy products and services that they never intended to. So in an environment like this, you have a large number of social criticisms of business. Business impacts on individual consumers in many ways. First is the high pricing that is there. Consumers are not sure not confident of the pricing mechanism is there so they feel that the high prices are there today you have a large number of deceptive practices with the 
business involved today to lure the consumers. High pressure selling is also there. High pressure selling is essentially buy one, get one free, buy one, get four free, which is largely found in the metropolitan cities. This also lures the consumer and puts a psychological pressure on the consumer to buy product which they really never intend to. If you look at the market, you have large number of unsafe products. The consumers buy products and services today, which are resulting into a large number of harm to them. As far as service provision is concerned, there are a large number of service providers, but most of the services really have no standards. So you have poor services. So at the end of the day, the consumer really does not get the service that he has been promised to. Therefore, there is a need to protect the consumers in the era where you have the large entry of multinational companies and the growth of e-commerce. The problems faced by the consumers are much more complex today than what they were earlier. In the conventional markets, the consumers lack knowledge and information to face the challenges of the complex market forces. As a result, the exploitation of consumers is rampant today. The problems are mainly due to unfair business practices and the weakness of the consumer complaint redressal mechanism. Exploitation is more rampant in the rural areas where large bulk of the consumers are living, mainly due to illiteracy, ignorance, and therefore it is easy to exploit the rural consumers. They are much more vulnerable to the market mechanism. Loss, low purchasing power due to poverty and availability of limited choice has added to consumer protection. Therefore, consumer protection is a part of good governance agenda of the government and a large number of new initiatives are being taken. But if we look in the context of globalization and the market, you have large number of areas of concern. The first fundamental is consumer awareness and consumer rights. It's itself very low. Consumers are not aware about Consumer Protection Act what are the rights, how do they realize these rights, and also how do they redress their complaints. The problem is also with consumer behavior in terms of their marketing behavior, in terms of their uh, servicing behavior. So you have consumers where they buy things which really they do not intend to, and they are largely influenced by advertisements. Other problem is violation of consumer rights in different sectors whether it is banking, insurance, telecom, electricity, large violations of consumer rights are taking place. And the problem is that consumers lack an effective channel of information channel relating to consumer protection. Where do they seek information is a big issue today. Now the problem comes becomes more complex because of poor consumer complaint and redressal mechanism. So consumers by and large are really not aware of how do they redress their complaints and where do they file their complaint. Now, in this area, in this context, if you look in the globalization, large number of changes have taken place in the, because of globalization, liberalization, the markets have changed, the nature of purchase, buying behavior of the consumers have changed. As a result of this, there are large number of new challenges also which have come into place. And therefore, the area issue that the consumer should be protected today. And you should have a new set of laws and regulations that can protect the consumers.